Though six members of the family were now in custody, group leader Matula Shakur remained on the streets. Once again, cooperating informant Sam Brown provided agents with a lead. He believed Matula Shakur could most likely be found in Harlem at the acupuncture clinic Shakur had founded. The FBI and NYPD set up 24-hour surveillance on the clinic. We utilized um, agents and detectives of uh, diverse ethnic backgrounds to do our best to blend into certain neighborhoods. We knew from both experience and also recognizing the uh, intelligence and versatility of this group that we had to be particularly discreet in uh, surveilling these individuals. Agents watched and listened for months. Though Shakur never showed, they noted several others who came and went quite often. Agents hoped they would eventually lead them to Shakur. One night, agents followed a man from the clinic to a house at 85 Barrow Street in Greenwich Village. They learned the house was rented to Edward Joseph, one of the suspects named by informant Sam Brown in the Nyack robbery and shootout. They suspected Shakur was hiding there. They were right. Their months of perseverance had paid off. A federal judge authorized a Title III. This permitted agents to set up wiretaps and bugs. Shakur and Joseph must have suspected the FBI's presence, since they often turned up the TV when they talked. Despite this, agents were able to pick up snippets of incriminating conversations, including a discussion of killing informant Sam Brown. After several weeks, agents had enough evidence for a warrant to raid the Greenwich Village hideout. On the night of March 25, 1982, six months since the murders and robbery in Nyack, agents prepared for the assault. They'd strike early the next morning, hoping to catch the fugitives asleep and unaware. As the agents watched and waited, they saw Shakur enter the house. At dawn, two SWAT teams arrived. One team entered through the front door. The other covered the fire escape and back. They arrested two men, Chewy Ferguson and Edward Joseph, both named as participants in the Nyack. Their leader, Matulu Shakur, was nowhere to be found. Somehow, he'd escaped during the night, slipping past the surveillance. Ferguson and Joseph were convicted on federal charges as accessories for harboring a fugitive, though they were acquitted of murder charges stemming from the Nyack shootings. Both were sentenced to 12 years in prison. 